Hey, this is Nate Woods with Action Coach with another uh, Business Spotlight interview. So, Fias, tell me a little bit about uh, what you do for how long you've been doing it. Hi, Nate. Thanks for having me. Um, I am uh, the founder and CEO of Ali Plus. It's a marketing agency, purely digital. Um, so, I've been doing it for the past four to five years now. Um, you know, technically, my digital marketing journey started all the way back when I was in college. I did started as a freelancer. And then, um, you know, the past four to five years, I really tried to solidify it and turn it into an agency. Awesome. Awesome. I think that's something that tons of businesses now need is, is that social media and online presence. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So what is your goal for the company? Where do you want to take it long term? You know, the goal is always to make it bigger and better. So we're trying to do everything that we can in-house to, you know, get some of the, the best and latest tools uh, that makes the work more efficient and faster. Uh, a lot of these things are very behind the scenes. So the client never fit, you know, gets to see what we do behind the scenes, you know, because, you know, we're showing them the creative work. And, but at the same time, we want to show them the numbers, right? Because at the end of the day, the clients are always like, hey, you know, how did our, you know, uh, following go from here to here? You know, what are we looking at? Like a brand, stuff like that. So the biggest goal is to get all the tools in place so that we can do our work efficiently. And obviously grow the team because as we are getting more and more clients, you know, we need to, you know, build our team in-house even more. So the, the goal, you know, when I look at short-term and long-term is to obviously, you know, grow the team, grow the list of clients and, you know, kind of help out, especially in Atlanta, you know, there's so many uh, companies, both small startups and local companies that kind of need that boost in digital marketing. And that's what we want to do. Awesome. Awesome. That, that's a great segue. So who exactly is your target market? Who do you aim to help? So we kind of go for small businesses and small agencies. Uh, so for an example, there's, there's, you know, automotive companies, there are, you know, startups that are trying to, you know, build their team of marketing and they have a limited budget. So the thing is, you know, not all these companies can go to these big digital marketing agencies, right? So what we like to do is kind of consider ourselves like a boutique agency and kind of give all these services and give packages. So not, you know, everyone needs every single service. So when it comes to the client, you know, the, the main target audience is really the smaller agencies and small businesses that don't have these gargantuan, you know, businesses. And that's where we want to come in. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I think that's a segment of the market that, like you said, a lot of the larger agencies don't want to service. So it, it leaves right. a, a void. Absolutely. So you've been in business for a little while now. Tell me a little bit about one mistake you've made or a lesson that you've learned that any other entrepreneur could learn from, irregardless of their industry. Um, I think, you know, in the beginning, there's a lot of excitement and you kind of want to do everything, right? So in the beginning, it's like, no, let's be a, you know, a marketing agency that goes for all sorts of clients, right? Um, because you think you can do it all. Um, but I think, you know, there's two things that I learned. One is that you kind of have to niche down, you know, you kind of have to understand, all right, there's a lot of markets out there, but which markets can you really thrive in, right? So we realized that automotive, doctors and lawyers, and um, the hospitality, you know, industry are great for us, right? Now, that doesn't mean in the future, we're not going to look at other industries, we definitely will. But I think, you know, when you're trying to go to every single industry. And at the same time, you don't have a big team to do it. Um, it can kind of, you know, you can kind of serve yourself a little thin. So my biggest thing is, you know, if I could go back in time, I would really niche down on which audiences I want to go for, which companies and clients I want to go for, and also have the proper team in place. Um, because as you grow, you also need more people, you know, working with you uh, to, you know, help your clients out. Awesome advice. Yeah. Trying, trying to serve everyone at the same time is, is a recipe for stretching yourself too thin and, and not being oh, yeah. able to do what you're best at. Absolutely. Yep. Awesome. So have you had a great coach or mentor? And uh, if you have, why would you, why would you say them? Um, I would want to, you know, give a lot of credit to, I think, you know, when I was in college, this is something I knew I really wanted to do. And I think a lot of my college professors, I would have to, you know, um, there's not any one specifically that I can name because all of them, I think were very, you know, instrumental in getting me here, but I think there's just so much that I would learn. And I think, you know, sometimes I would go into their offices and be like, Hey, so, you know, how you were teaching this in class. Um, I want to know a little more. So it's like, you know, it kind of bugged them a little bit. Um, so I think the amount that I learned from, you know, college and the classes, I think was fantastic. 
And I think second, I would want to say also the the job experiences that I had, because, you know, this is something that I always wanted to do. But even after college, I, I did work, you know, as a nine to five employee for companies. And I kind of learned a lot, you know, kind of I, I got to see, you know, how, you know, to discuss with clients, you know, how to that communication, how to build that reporting. There's so many things that I learned um, that I think is essential. And because I do this on a daily basis now, and it's like, you know, it's, a, it's like a different language, but I get it now. Um, so I think I can't really pinpoint a single specific mentor, but I think all the experiences, I've, I kind of, I, I would say shaped me uh, to be who I am. Yeah. Yeah. So what does the future look like for your company and what are some challenges you see as you move forward? Um, so obviously I think the future is, like I said, in the beginning, I want to grow the team. Um, we have, you know, a good team of four to five individuals, but I want to, you know, get that to be even larger. I mean, there's a lot of other people, you know, uh, outside of Atlanta working with me, but, you know, in-house, I want to grow that team. Um, so that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is I want to, like I said, I want to expand into different markets. Um, and then the third thing, when it comes to challenges, is I think that there's a lot of agencies out there, right? There's a lot of marketing agencies and they all do fantastic work. Um, but my thing is obviously, you know, I do want to go for the smaller companies and smaller businesses. So I think that's kind of our niche. You know, one day, who knows, you might go for the bigger guys out there. But, um, at, you know, at, at the current state, I want to stick with the small businesses. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what would you recommend to a young person that is starting their first business uh, in today's economy? Um, I would kind of just say, try to get experience. You know, it's a lot of people just want to hurry up and, you know, just start an LLC or whatever, get a website ready. That stuff is great. You know, a lot of people just say, go do it. And I kind of say it in the same way, but in a different manner, which is go do it as get the experience. Cause at the end of the day, you have to learn, you have to know how to do everything, right? It's like, it's like the equivalent of owning a restaurant. You know, you don't necessarily have to be the one cooking, but you need to know everything that goes on in every aspect of the restaurant, you know, because, you know, if someone is sick, then you need to kind of step in and be able to do things. So you need to learn everything from A to Z um, before you even get to the stage of, all right, you know, I want to start that business of mine. So for example, if you want to be something as simple as a social media manager, right? Um, start looking for clients, be a freelancer, start creating content, managing social media channels for your clients. And then once you find that rhythm, you know, then you can say, all right, I got the social media down. Now, what about the analytics? What about this? What about that? Once you become fully experienced in everything, then go for that business idea. Yeah, that, that's great advice. You know, use, using your employer to, to learn from and grow while mm -hmm. you start that business on the side and then yeah. just allow it to continue to grow until the point where you could do that full time, I think is a great right. way to think about it. Yep. Awesome. Well, hey, what is the best way people can learn more about you or about your marketing agency? What's the best way to get in touch? So the best way to get in touch is just to visit our website. It's aliplusmedia.com. Um, so basically, you can find out the different services we work on, you know, and more about the company overall. So that's, you know, how you can learn about that. Obviously, you can follow me on social media, right? So it's my username is at the phase Ali. So you can follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of fun content as well. That's not always related to the company, but I am a content creator as well. So, you know, in order to be good in marketing, I also have to market myself. So if you want to follow me, definitely go follow me. I have my own YouTube channel as well. And then I think later this, uh, later next year, we're going to be having a specific YouTube channel that's going to be all about digital marketing. So that's going to kind of segue from Ali plus the, you know, the website and the agency and we're also going to be teaching everyone, you know, digital marketing tips and how to get digital marketing optimized for your businesses and stuff like that. So, you know, right now that's in the works, but currently you can go on the website, aliplusmedia.com. Perfect. And I'll link all that in the description below so people can reference it easily. Perfect. My final question for you today is what inspires you most as you move forward in the business? I think, you know, in a way, I love, so I love technology and I think, you know, there's just like the way technology is changing every six months, you know, you have something new, like an iPhone or whatever. I like to model, you know, my agency and the work that I do kind of like a tech company in that sense, where let's keep using the latest tools and the newest technologies 
um, because it is a digital marketing agency. So we need to really you know, fully know what digital services and tools are out there that we can use uh, to make the lives of our clients easier. Because at the end of the day, you know, a happy client is a happy me. So, you know, what can I do to bring smiles on my clients' faces and, you know, make them happy? So for me, it's always about, you know, finding what's working, but also, you know, what are the coolest new things um, that we can be working on? Because, you know, when it comes to inspiration, it's always like, you know, Elon Musk and Steve Jobs and these great visionaries that I look up to, even though their businesses are completely different. But I think, you know, th their vision uh, is something that I really like and their drive. So, you know, people like them inspire me. And also, you know, looking at, you know, Ali Plus, where it is and where I want it to be, that kind of also motivates me, you know, so stuff like that. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining me today. I really enjoyed the interview and uh, I look Likewise. forward to talking in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Nate.